Uh, definitely my matchups with Harrison Barnes. Uh, anytime I matched up with him, that was um, uh, definitely good matchups. He was the top wing in the class, top small forward, the top shooting guard, and you know I respect I respect dude because he um he's real good, he's real talented. He could play, he could do a lot of things. Man, I think he did a couple bad knocks, but his game is his game is legit, man. He can do a lot of things on the court. And um I used to uh, measure myself kinda against him. You know what I'm saying? He's the top dog, I'm the top dog, and when we get when we square off, we gonna go at it. And I remember the first time we played him, we played him at Memorial Day and uh A U on the Nike circuit, man, and um that was my first time ever playing against him. Matter of fact, that was my first time ever ever um ever actually seeing him play. I didn't even get to see him play until we played against him. So I, all I heard was the hype. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was good. He was good. He, did, he had a bad night that night. He had a bad shooting night that night. He only had like 12. I had about 38. You know? And I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to, I wanted to go against him. And you know, and we met up a couple more times um, at camps. Played against each other. A couple more moments we played against each other. It was always good. It was always competitive. And I always wanted to, you know, give him my best because he always respected him as a player and once I played against him, you know, because you can come to the game, I'm going to test you, especially if you, you're supposed to be big time. I'm going to see where you're at. I'm going to see where you're hard at. I'm going to see if you really about what they've been talking about. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was just as good as advertised, man. Um, got to go against him at the Chris Paul camp when we was in college. Some more good battles, you know, one-on-one -on -one battles. And, and we, I always try to go at him when I see him, man, but he's real good. Another high school matchup was um, I like the, uh, me against um, Roscoe Smith. Number one of those games in my late Clifton days. We played against. Um, he went to Walbrook at that time. We used to, you know, what I'm saying the, the best two players in the class in the city. You know, what I'm saying we were the best two players in the city in the state, basically. You know. Um, both at that time we was about the same place in rank. No, he was higher than me at that time. He was probably about top ten, fifteen, I was probably about top twenty five, top thirty. Um his team was undefeated. My team was undefeated. They from over west, we from over east. You know what I'm saying? So um game crazy pack. And it's over their place. It's over west in Walbrook. Jungle, man, it's packed. You got all the West over there, all the East ride with us. You know what I'm saying? The best two teams, they that's a hype up. You got me versus him, that's a hype up. You know what I'm saying? Two best teams, that's they it's just getting crazy hype. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't getting there by the J V game, you wasn't getting in it was that crazy. I remember college coaches telling me they couldn't even some of them couldn't even get to that game. It was so packed. Everybody wanted to see it. And uh we, we get at it, man. We, we went at it and um, blew them boys out. We blew them out. We tore them up. And Roscoe, my dude, though, shout out to Roscoe, man. He just um, transferred to uh, UNLV from UConn. I hope he, hope he do his thing up there, man. Another guy that could be an NBA pro. As long as he do his thing and get the opportunity, he's going to be a big time player, man. So I wish the best of luck to him. But that day of Warbrook, we got them. We got them. We got them. We blow them out. I have about 20 some, 26, 27. Uh, got the best of them that day. So that was definitely another crazy hot matchup I would never forget.